I think people have many misconceptions about the universe. I would say at the top of the list is we don't have an intuitive sense of how deep time really goes. We live our lifetime, 70, 80, if you're lucky, 90 years. The mountains are here for millions of years and the continents move over hundreds of millions of years. Things change really slowly compared to our lifetime. So when you tell people this is going on in the universe or this happened long ago, often there's a barrier in the capacity of the mind to think that far back. And it's understandable because if we rise up out of the plains of Africa, there is no need, there's no survival need to know what a billion years is. So we understand seasons, we understand days, Months, months, the cycles of the moon, we understand the cycles of the seasons, that's about it. Much beyond that, we have to be taught it and learn it and intellectualize it. Also teaching people the relative sizes of things, how small an atom is, how big the sun is. If the sun were hollow, you could pour a million earths into it and still have room left over, a million earths. People have a hard time thinking about even what a million is, and I'm telling you, a million of those fit inside a hollowed out sun. Not only that, let will show you how small a molecule is. There are more molecules of water in a cup of water than there are cups of water in all the oceans of the world. Any cup of water that passes through your kidneys and comes out of your body, which it will do, there are enough water molecules to scatter into every other possible cup that someone can consume in the world. Give it time, it'll scatter to the rest of the world. This means that for every cup of water you drink, it very likely has molecules of water that pass through the kidneys of Genghis Khan, of Jesus. Things like this are mind-boggling simply because it's hard for us to even understand how small these particles are and how prevalent they are around the world. So these are two of the greatest challenges that the astrophysicist has in communicating our trade.